Hi guys, welcome back to another video. A today's question on strings is recursively remove all adjacent duplicates. The question states that given a string s, recursively remove adjacent duplicate characters from the string s. The output string should not have any adjacent duplicates. Let's consider the examples. In example 1, the string is gigs for gigs. So as we can see that e is the duplicate character. Therefore, after removing e from this particular string, we get the output as gks f o r g k similarly in case of example 2 the string is a c a a a b b b a c 4 times d so here as we can see that a b and d are duplicates so after removing a b and d we get the string as a c a c so now let's have a look at the approach to solve this particular problem let's consider a string b a c double a c b the right side of the screen shows the algorithm to solve this particular problem where we first call the remove adjacent function from our main function and we also declare few variables that is we create a string s2 we store the length of the string in a variable called len we initialize l to 0 and also declare a variable called r and we declare few more variables namely flag and last and initialize last to 0 we traverse the string from i is equal to 0 to length that is initially the value of i is 0 and at each traversal we declare a variable j and initialize it to i plus 1 so the value of j is 1 and we also initialize flag to 0 then we check whether if s of i is equal to s of j as well as j is less than length since b is not equal to a therefore we move on further and check whether if flag is equal to 1 since flag is equal to 0 therefore we move on to our else part and update the value of r as i which is 0 and we append the substring from L up to R minus L plus 1 characters that is 0 minus 0 plus 1 that is we append the character B to our string S2 and then we update the value of L as J and increment I. Now I points to the location 1 or the character A. We initialize the value of J as I plus 1, initialize flag as 0 and again check whether if S of I is equal to S of J. Since A is not equal to C again we check whether flag is equal to 1 since flag is 0 we again move on to our else part update the value of r as i which is 1 and we append the character a to our string s2 and then we update the value of l as j and increment i and the value of j is 3 here as well as flag is 0 again we check whether if s of i is equal to s of j since c is not equal to a Again we check whether if flag is equal to 1 which is false. So we move on to our else part, update the value of r as i which is 2 and we append the character c to a string s2 and then update the value of l as j which is 3 and increment i. Now i points to the location 3 or the character a and j also points to a which is the fourth location. We update, uh, sorry, we initialize the value of flag as 0 and check whether if s of i is equal to s of g. Since s of 3 is equal to s of 4, which are both a's, therefore we update the value of j as j plus plus and also update the value of flag and last as 1. Again, we check whether if s of i is equal to s of j. Since a is not equal to c, therefore we run out of the while loop and check for the condition whether if flag is equal to 1. Since flag is equal to 1, therefore we update the value of L as J and I as also J. So the value of L is now 5 as well as I points to the fifth memory location and the value of J is now 6. We initialize the value of flag as 0 as well as check for the condition whether if C is equal to B. Since C is not equal to B, we check whether if flag is equal to 1 which is false and we move on to our else part where we update the value of r as i which is 3 sorry which is 5 and we append the character c to our string s2 and update the value of l as j and increment i now i points to the last character of the string which is b so the value of j is 7 as well as flag is initialized to 0 we check whether if s of i is equal to s of j 
since uh, we don't have any character at s of j therefore this condition is false and we check whether if flag is equal to 1 which is also false so again we are in a else part where we update the value of r as i which is 6 as well as we append the character b to a string s2 and then update the value of l as j and increment i now i points to the location 7 which is not less than length therefore we come out of the for loop and we check for the condition whether if last is equal to 0 since the value of last is 1 therefore we we are in a else part where we again call the recursive function remove adjacent with a new string s2 which is b a double c b so again we run a for loop for this function as well as we create few variables namely s2 length l r flag and last so we traverse the string from i is equal to 0 to n and at each traversal we initialize a variable j as i plus 1 which is 1 we initialize flag to 0 and check whether if b is equal to a since b is not equal to a we also check whether if flag is equal to 1 which is false so we are in the else part where we update the value of r as i append the particular character b to a new string s2 as well as update the value of j and increment i so now i points to 1 and j points to 2 as well as flag is equal to 0 again we check whether if a is equal to c which is false as well as flag is not equal to 1 therefore we are in a else part where we update the value of r as i as well as append the character a to a string s2 and update the value of l as j and increment i now i points to 2 and j points to 3 and we check whether if s of i is equal to s of j since s of 2 is equal to s of 3 therefore we update the value of j as j plus plus which is 4 and also update the value of flag and last to 1 and again we check whether if s of 2 is equal to s of 4 since c is not equal to b therefore we come out of the while loop and check for the condition whether if flag is equal to 1 which is 2 therefore we update the value of l as j and i as also j so now i points to the last character of the string which is 4 and j points to 5 which is out of the bound of the string now we check whether if s of i is equal to s of j since there is no value at s of j as well as j is not less than length therefore we come out of the while loop check for the condition whether if flag is equal to 1 which is false so again we are in a else part where we update the value of r as i which is 4 and append the character b to a string s2 and update the value of l as j and increment i now i is not less than length therefore we come out of the for loop check for the condition whether if last is equal to 0 since last is equal to 1 therefore again we call the recursive function remove adjacent with a new string s2 which is b a b and finally as we have seen earlier we we, we traverse the string from i is equal to 0 to length and we append the string characters into a new string s2 so after appending all the characters we get the string s2 as b a b and the values of flag and last are 0 so we check whether if last is equal to 0 and in this case last is equal to 0 therefore we simply return a string s2 that is we return b a b which is our output so now let's have a look at our actual code as we have seen in the explanation part in the main function we first call the remove adjacent function with a string s which returns the string s2 so in the remove adjacent function we first create a string s2 as well as we declare few variables namely length l r flag and last we initialize l to 0 as well as last to 0 then we traverse the string from i is equal to 0 to the length of the string and at each traversal we create a variable j which is equal to i plus 1 as well as we initialize the value of flag as 0 then we run a while loop for the condition whether if s of i is equal to s of j as well as j is less than length and if so then we update the value of j as j plus plus as well as we update the value of flag and last to 1 then we check for the condition whether if flag is equal to 0 and if so we update the value of l and i to j else we update the value of r as i 
we append the characters of the string s from l up to r minus l plus 1 number of characters into the string s2 and then we update the value of l as j and increment i and finally after the for loop we check whether if last is equal to 0 that is if the string does not contains any duplicate characters if so we return the string s2 else we call the recursive function remove adjacent with a new string s2 so now we can compile a code the code is compiled so we can submit it now and it got submitted successfully so if you found the video helpful then do hit that like button and subscribe to my youtube channel for more such upcoming videos on must do coding questions for interview preparations thank you